What's up everyone, Saints fan back again with another episode of Fashion Friday, a series where I showcase some awesome outfits that you guys have made over the last week in GTA Online. Now I'm just warning you guys because I know some people get super upset when I do military outfits, but this week does have a lot of military style outfits. So if you don't like that sort of stuff, then you can just click off now. But if you have your own outfit you want to submit and you want it to be in a future episode, then all you have to do is tweet it with the hashtag SaintsFF on Twitter and I will see it for a future episode. Now with all that being said, let's go ahead and hop in. This first one is military style, but it's actually based off of The Punisher, which side note was an awesome TV show if you haven't watched it on Netflix. But this one is The Punisher. The pictures are pretty cool you can see right here well you can see actually what you need to make it right here but he's in his uh facility with all the guns and stuff i think that's kind of fitting now obviously you can't have like the punisher logo on the the vest here but overall i mean look it's pretty spot on compared to what he was rocking in the tv show so if you want to dress up as the punisher then this right here is an awesome outfit to do so the next one is from unloosing flip and this one's called the military crew now i really do love I know, I know i've said this a million times but i like these outfits that you can use with friends you know i think that makes the game more fun so having this four man crew uh or military crew outfit or outfits then you know i think i think that that's really awesome so this first one is the spetsnaz operator and you got a green color scheme going on here. Everything pretty much matches. I wish the color of the helmet matched a little bit better, but that's nothing you could do. Obviously, Rockstar just don't know their freaking colors, but you can see we should make it here over on the right. Uh, the next one we have is the GSG9. So more of a darker colored outfit, but this one does have some green, so it's not all black. And again, you can see what you need right there. Then we have the Army Ranger. This one's kind of cool. It is sort of generic, but it does look nice. The green with the, the khaki or with the the peach camo on the pants. I think that all looks really good. And then we have the Navy Seal, which I think looks really cool. It's not as like bulky, but I kind of like it. I love the way the head stuff all flows together. But yeah, those are some cool outfits from Unloosing Flip. Next one we have is called the Norwegian Delta Police. And you can actually see what you need to make it right here. So go ahead and look at these awesome pictures. I just, I love, uh, I love the close-ups you got here, and this is what it looks like in action. Again, yeah, look, I know a lot of the military outfits are going to start to look like each other, you know, eventually, because there's only so many things that we can do, but I do like this sort of, this picture right here with the, the light, sort of at nighttime, I think that looks really cool. So again, if you want to make it, there's everything you need. Next one from Harry. This one's called the Metropolitan Police Counterterrorism Specialist Firearms Officer. CTSFO for short. It's a long name. But it's a it's an outfit based off of a real life outfit. And I think, look, that's a pretty spot on comparison. If you, t you know, look back and forth. Obviously, it sucks. We can't put police on the front. But here it is in action. And uh, this is what you need to make it. So if you want to dress up as a police counter terrorism special specialist firearms officer, <laughs> then there you go. Next one is from Tyler. And this one's one of my favorites from this week. It's called the Realistic Riot Police Com or the Realistic Riot Police. So this one is another take on the whole riot police things. You can see to make it, you can pause if you want to, uh, to make this outfit, but it's, it's pretty much an all black outfit, but obviously the face part sort of is, is where you're going to get a lot of looks, you know, that's where I look at first. Cause you know, it's just, we have LSPD on the damn helmet, but we can't get that on like the clothing. It's like really, but anyway, that is the realistic riot police. I thought that one looked pretty awesome. Moving along. We have Theo. Now this one is a little different. Uh, I believe it's called the whiteless farmer. I don't know exactly what that's supposed to mean. But basically, it's like a, I don't know what you would call this. It's a farmer that is a tryhard. <laughs> like, I thought it was interesting. It's unique. So if you want to dress up as this character, this is what you need to make it. Requires a few things. But overall, I mean, it's kind of cool looking. The black and the white, I think I think it's a, it's a different looking outfit. So I wanted to throw it in here. Then we have Super Duper James. Now, we've done this outfit multiple times in the past, but here's another iteration of it. 
and it looks fantastic every time it's marcus from Watch Dogs 2 that's what you need to make it right there and then you can see in the picture i mean come on that just that looks awesome so if you want marcus then you can make that one next one from logax is mad max and again i know we've done this one multiple times in the past but each iteration looks freaking awesome especially if you're out there in sandy shores this is what it's based off of and you can see this is what you need to make it doesn't require too much so that's good but going back to the pictures i mean it's a pretty spot on representation then we have some outfits from k3 and this one's kind of cool it's the post-apocalyptic riot and i like it because the grays and the reds and the blacks I, I like the way they blend together and i like this some sort of i don't know what the hell this is contraption he didn't really give what you need to make it but i'm guessing that's a gas mask with the the flight tube glitched on top of the or underneath the lspd riot mask and then you can see what you need to make it or what else you need on his body but i don't know i kind of like the way that one looked and then here we have one from him called the military medic so if you want a military style outfit but you want to use the the medic outfit that we have from the the heist the new heist then that's a pretty cool look and i believe yeah the final male outfit we have is this one from marcos and it's the russian soldier and obviously it goes really nicely with the new tank in the background so like i said a lot of military outfits but we actually have a lot of female outfits this week so getting into some from daisy this one is the city biker and it's kind of a, a neat little outfit you can see what you need to make it down here but here it is in action it just looks nice you know and and i think a lot of people miss out on nice looking outfits because they're not based off of anything or something like that and look we have 20 outfit slots now so if you want to throw that on then there you go next one is the liberal zombie and this one's just another good looking you know casual outfit to to just walk around in blend in with the npcs i've always w wished that the off the radar mode was longer so i could actually blend in with npcs but there you go with that outfit next one is the bigness splinter foot soldier so this one is somewhat of a i guess military style outfit with that crazy looking camo so if you like that crazy looking camo then you'll probably like this outfit and it, all, it does all blend together so that's that's a good point you know that that rarely ever happens it seems like in gta and then the final one is the grand sonora merc this one's your more traditional desert style outfit so you can see what you need to make it down here doesn't require too much but in the end if you're driving out in the desert it looks pretty cool that's a cool shot right there uh and then we have this one from clarky this one is karen the, the, her character from the new movie jumanji and that's a pretty spot-on approach i mean that granted her outfit's not anything crazy in the movie but if you wanted to make that outfit there you go next one is from michael and it's anna chase red velvet no idea what this is but i actually really do like it the reds the whites and then i love the the contacts rarely do we get outfits that use contacts so i like how the contacts and even the hair the hair going from the red to the white i think that's a really cool looking outfit and if you want to make it again here's what it is but in the end the red and the white just looks awesome and then one of the final ones we have from cindy is called the operator and to make it really requires four things which is nice because simplicity is always better but you can see from this picture it's a really good looking outfit for maybe doing missions in in pvp sort of stuff and then finally i'll, I'll go ahead and throw uh, scroll through some some outfits from later these are nothing special but they do look nice they're just casual sort of outfits some are casual more casual like this others are more work related i guess but if you wanted some options for your female character then here are some extra ones this one may be one of my favorites i love that one for like a ceo character uh, and then we have you know your nighttime biker sort of character and then the final one is another somewhat of a professional looking outfit if you're doing some ceo work but that is it with the video thank you all for watching like i said if you have your own outfit you want to submit for a future episode tweet it with the hashtag saintsff on twitter but thank you all and as always i'll see you guys in the next one